Hello Garbo community, Dragonheart here, getting myself back in front of the camera again. It um, feels a little bit awkward, but I'm going to try and do this a lot more often, just so you can see my face, see me talking to you. It's weird seeing myself on the little flip thingy here. <laughs> I'll turn it around just so I can't see myself. So yeah, um, as I mentioned in the last video I shot, I don't know if these will actually be in sequence, but as I mentioned in the last video I shot, <laughs> I got... Um, a whole load of trade paperbacks here that I've been picking up over the last few weeks, the last month or so. I um, actually got a couple here I think I've shown you before, but I'm going to include them just um, just to make sure I have shown them off. So yeah, I'll just show you the stack here. Big old stack there. A couple of the new um, Marvel graphic novels which I'll show you through first. So let's get on with it. These turned up literally 15 minutes ago in the post, so I have not read these at all yet. But I will just show them off anyway. First of all here we have Avengers Disassembled, which is volume 34, and it reprints. Where are we? Collecting Avengers 500 through 503, and Avengers Finale. I'll give you another quick look at that there. It's the front cover. And the back cover. That's pretty sweet. Look forward to getting to read those. When that'll be, I don't know. I buy far too much to keep up with all my reading. <laughs> and the next one is New X Men E is for Extinction. I've actually heard this mentioned before, but I'm curious to read it. Can't think where. I don't think it was a YouTube video. I have a feeling it was um, just an interview or something or a, an article I was reading. I don't know. I'll be interested in looking through this. And that is issue 23. Or volume 23, I suppose you'd say. And it reprints New X Men 114 through 117. Let's give you a look at the back cover there. Ah, that's pretty cool. I will, um,. Show you the spines of these all back to back since I've now got them up on my shelf, just so you can see what we've got so far. I think we're about a third of the way through this series. We're coming up to about a third. If I remember rightly, there were 60 or so issues to collect, or volumes to collect, sorry, and we're up to about 18 now. So the best part of a third of the way through. So I'll show you the spines of these at some point. So yeah, that's those. Next, on with um, Conan. I know I've mentioned these a lot. These first two here are the two that I think I've already shown you. But can't hurt just to stick on the video again. This is Conan Born on the Battlefield, which is volume zero. Volume zero there. A real good little read sort of covers um some of Conan's childhood and him growing up. It's really good. And um, volume number one here. I know I've shown you this already. That's pretty cool. Da the Frost Giant's Daughters. Get that out of the way. And I don't think... I think these all should be new to us. Here we have volume two. God in the Bowl. This is a real good little story. They're all real good stories, but <laughs> this is one I quite enjoyed. This is, I think, the only actual Conan story I've read so far that actually shows fear in Conan. I Again, I don't know exactly what issues these reprint, because it doesn't say. It doesn't even say on the inside, it just shows... Um, show you the spine there. 
it just shows oh, quick look show you how they do it we can find a page any page there you go they just refer to each issue as another chapter right. fantastic artwork each issue has um, a little forward by someone who has been involved on the series and most of them so far have little bits in the back little special bits, try not to show you any of the actual story there in case you're interested in reading it it's sort of got some artwork from some of the artists they're real nice it's really nice having little little things like that included in the back so that was volume 2 and we have volume 3 The Tower of the Elephant this was an awesome story I'm gonna say that for every single issue of these I'm sure but <laughs> show you the spine there quickly and the back and that is the um, elephant looking creature in question And what did we have in the back of this one? Let's see if I can remember. Again, just more um, more artwork, as well as obviously um, an article. Articles about the um, the story, and um, some of the articles are about Robert E. Howard himself. This is quite cool. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but this is um, a map of um, Hyboria, the Hyborian world. I would love to get an actual map, a proper map, and sort of stick it up on the wall somewhere. My auntie has um, a really awesome Middle Earth, um, Middle Earth poster. Not poster, not even a poster. It's a proper big old painting. It shows, it shows the um, the world of um, Lord of the Rings. I'd love to get something like that for. Um, the world of Conan. Anyway, this is volume four. That was a volume three issue, I think. Yep. This is volume four. Hall of the Dead and other stories. They like their tentacly creatures in these, I'll tell you that. <laughs> volume four, show you the spy in there. Hello Dexter. My dog has come to say hello. Anyway. I'll show you the back there. These are actually wrap aroundy covers, which is pretty cool. And in the back here, we have some of them um, Howardian versus Lovecraftian. Try not to show you that page, don't want to show you the very last page. <laughs> We've got a few of the actual um, comic book covers. They're actually the variant covers from the comic books themselves. As well as more artwork. More preliminary sketches. I love looking at these old sketches. Even that is clearly a very basic quick sketch, but that's better than anything I could draw. <laughs> Another uh, variant cover there. Try not to damage these books, I want to keep them in a reasonable condition. Makes it a little bit awkward showing the inside. And one more of the variant covers there. Next week. And next we have volume 5, which turned up yesterday, and I have read it already. I actually read most of this at work in my break at work. So. Um, Conan Rogues in the House. Very cool story. Show you the back there. The big creature. Kind of comes across half gorilla, half man. It's pretty cool. I don't think there was much in the back of this one. No. Wasn't much at all in the back one. There was just a very brief article or something. Which is kind of a shame, but. Actually, it's kind of cool how they've done that. They've used the spine of the. 
Let's see if I grab that. They've used the spine of the cover as the corner of the, the wall. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So that's all the actual numbered issues, or volumes, sorry. I've got that these next couple are still from the same um, Dark Horse series, but they're just stories that weren't, they were, in fact they actually say in one of them, they're just filler stories that didn't necessarily tie in with any of the ongoing stuff. So they've put them in their own thing. That's the Bloodstained Crowns and other stories. A little bit bent at the top there, which is unhelpful. Show you the back of that. There's nothing really in the backs of these. That's a lie. That's a script from one of the um, issues. Some of these are quite cool. They actually show... Yeah, this was the volume. Some of this actually shows the, um, the contemporary people that are sort of narr narrating the um, the story, the stories as they go along. I hope you understood what I just said. <laughs> Shows you the um, actual issues there. So that's that one. And the last of the Conan ones here. Conan the Spear and other stories. Again, this is another one that was printed out of order, because they were just more or less filler issues. This was the one I mentioned when I was showing off some other Cull comics. Um, this is the one... These characters here, these fishy looking people. I wonder if they're actually the same... Well, they must be the same um, race that appeared in um, the Cull stories. That's pretty cool. Again, I don't think there's anything in the back. But... And I got it wrong again. <laughs> I'm doing well today, aren't I? Uh, this is the um, the free comic book day issue. We just printed in the back of this. That's pretty cool. Anyway, been waffling for ages. Got two more just here to show you that I picked up the other day in town. So I finally got around to picking up the Boys Volume Two. Fantastic! As good as the first one. It was a good little story, and it's um, towards the end of this. I won't give the actual story away, but towards the end of this, it feels like it's now beginning to set up perhaps some big bad, some big bad overpowering nasties. Show you the back of that. Does this say what it prints? Yeah, this prints issues four, uh, seven through fourteen. Sorry, that's pretty damn sweet. Really enjoying this. I made a bit of um, bit of a poo far. I picked up a volume from a different collection, so the spines don't line up on my um, shelf. Little things like that bug me. <laughs> so that was a bit of a fail, but not that it matters. It's all the, all the same stories inside. And the last thing I picked up on that day was Morning Glories, Volume Three. Nipped into Waterstones and finally found this. For about the last two months, every time I've been into town. I've checked to see if I could find this and finally got hold of it. Pretty damn pleased about that. I haven't read this yet, so I couldn't say anything about it, can't really comment on it, but see if it says on the back here what issues are reprinted. Um it doesn't seem to. But I will hazard a guess and say it probably reprints issues um thirteen through eighteen. Oh, it says down there, thirteen through nineteen. So that's cool. And the dogs are running up outside. So yeah, that's everything. It's a big old trade paperback pile. <laughs> well, so I hope you all enjoyed that. And I will cut this off short now because it's coming out 15 minutes. I want to make sure I can um, post this. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed looking through that. I've got one more little thing to show you. It's just a little mini-series that I picked up. I will um, go record that now. Have a good day.